Before I explain myself, let's take this puppy out. My battery pack died. Sucks. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to take this puppy out right now. I gotta charge my battery pack. We're not gonna be driving this car quite yet because I left my battery pack in here and it just completely just drained it. This freaking vehicle has so many electronics that it just drains battery packs like this. So sad, so sad. So I'm gonna have to wait on that before we can drive it out. All right, so I finally got it out here and what we're gonna be doing, well, what I'm gonna be doing is actually removing all these panels off. I'm gonna be stripping this because we need that to get fixed. And the only way we can get that fixed is actually to get all the parts that we have good on this vehicle into that one. But the thing that's gonna be triggered is that, I don't know how the bottom is gonna work. <clears throat> it's gonna be actually pretty tricky because, actually I'm gonna just let my body shop, you know, take care of that. But other than that, I'm about to start stripping it right now. Hood is off. Grill came off easily. It's like, nah, I kind of hurt myself a little bit, but it's off. All right, we got the headlights off, which are like one of the weirdest things ever because I've never had this type of actual design before in any of my vehicles. Cause look, it's this little actual, I don't know, enter. You push down, push it up to unlock and lock the grill and then the butt clips. Then we have the insulation for the hood. Now the front bumper was fairly easy to remove. Actually it was quite easy, which is odd because you know what? It's, you will expect it to have so many different bolts and you know, a little components. We took the front bumper off and now it's looking really just like a shell. We got the front bumper. We got inside panels. We got headlights. We got grills. We got a little trim piece for the front bumper. We got fenders out. We got one door out. All right, it's looking more like a skeleton. <laughs> but hey, this door right here, once it comes off, it's gonna be looking a whole lot better. And there she is. All right, this door panel, this door panel. And disregard, look at all this. Yeah, I know, it's, it's filthy as hell. The previous owner was a female. She was a loving mother though. She always had toys, books for them to read. She allowed her to have her kids stick stickers in a window. I mean, yeah, she a good mom. But I mean, God damn. All right, I'm a little gasped right now because I didn't know this freaking fender right here at the passenger side was functional. So there's a housing that connects to the grill right here and it leads, I'm guessing the AC unit. That's what I'm guessing because whenever AC motors are in here, and that's weird because your brakes are over here, so why should there be an air duct here, functional to with that, leading to the damn dashboard? So, you know what, that's, I'm gonna look into that, actually, matter of fact, I wonder if this one's functional too. Yes, sir. This one's functional as well. I don't know about this side. All right, so yeah, just like I thought, this one's not functional. It's just the driver's side, but that thing leads to the damn dashboard. So I'm guessing that's, that's for the AC unit. Man, but I mean, other than that, like we're getting it done. I just had like a little freaking minor setback, but now I'm gonna have access to the last bolt so we can take off this fender and then move on to the door and then to the next door and we should be done yeah after that we'll, we'll be good i'm just tired right now all right so we moved this to the back because i'm tired of being in the sunlight i'm legit just exhausted i feel like i'm just i feel like i'm getting dehydrated the longer i stay there which is true don't get me wrong but i stayed there for quite a while i got both doors done got the fender got the hood at the front bumper then got this other fender that was being annoying because it didn't have that many screws that the other fender had apparently they were just being hella janky now i'm gonna get these two doors out the way 
and then we'll be almost done i just want to clean up a bit because it's hella dirty right here that's the only thing yes sir look at that almost done almost done and there she is just completely dismantled jesus christ we got the tailgate off we still got to remove the rear bumper completely dismantled but you know what it still runs and drives <laughs> everything's good with the engine so yeah that is it don't forget to hit the like button please subscribe and yeah there's more content coming with these two vehicles all right we're almost done with the other one this one has just been going through a makeover <laughs> that is it but i hope you enjoyed it